Okay, so hello to all our audience of Melzone Radio Show. We are at the Hellfest for this second weekend and we've got the huge pleasure to be with one member from a band everybody knows. This is Discharge. Hello, can you first introduce to our audience? I am Jeff, uh, I'm from the band Discharge. So, welcome. Uh, first of all, how are things in your life at the moment? Shit. <laughs> yeah, shit. shit. Can't fucking walk. Got a fucked up knee. Hernia in my stomach, so yeah, shit. But it's great to be here. Yeah, it's great to be here. I gotta say, it's, it's great to be at Hellfest. Uh, yeah. Except this fucking. Yeah. yeah. Uh. So, uh, I, uh, this is the third time for the band to play at the Hellfest. The first time was in 2012, yeah. second time 2016, and now we're in 2022. Yeah. What do you think of the evolution of this festival, of the, of the site? What is your impression? Um, evolution of the site, yeah, it, um, it's, it's just like it was in 2016. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm not taking in most of the details, but yeah, it's, it, it's, it's very much like I thought it was. Um, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know much of a change, to be honest, but maybe I miss some, th some things. I haven't really been around the whole grounds yet, you know, um, because I can't really walk at the minute. Okay. I'm struggling to walk, so yeah, I just kind of, I'm staying put. But Hellfest, I'll say that Hellfest is the festival, you know, that this is the, the place you want to play. It's, it's, it's such a good festival, it's such a great vibe, uh, we love playing here and uh, you know we, we do look always, we always look forward to coming and playing here, I mean obviously this, you know, this, uh, this year is a lot bigger than it ever was uh, with, with the past two years from for COVID and everything, so you know, way to take uh, a big festival and make it even bigger, so well done. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, talking about the end of days, uh, Discharge's seventh studio album uh, was released in April 2017. So, five years now for the release of 16. Six, oh, 16. 16. Ah, 16, sorry. So, do you plan to compose, record, release something new, or is not in the way? Yeah, yeah we're, we always, we're always planning on it, you know. It, we, we plan on that, but whether it happens is another story. You know, plans are always one thing. Um, but to actually act on your plans and take that next step is another thing. You know what I mean? I'm ready to fucking go for a new album. I've been waiting, I'm waiting. But I am waiting on the other guys in Discharge to get off their fucking ass and start putting some shit together for me so come on let's fucking do this guys in discharge if you hear me i'm waiting next discharge album yes yes yeah because fans are waiting are waiting for a new new shit yeah. Yeah, the fans are you know i'm fucking waiting as well so let's do it bones taz rainy <laughs> It's now. So, uh, the band was formed uh, in uh, 77 yeah. in Trent, in Stock on Trent. Uh, do you remember that time and the state of mind that was yours at that time when you start forming the band? When we started forming the band, right. Yeah. So in 1977, right, I wasn't in the band yet. Yeah. I was uh, fresh out of my mother's womb. I was actually one years old so uh, yeah so in 1977 um i was probably like learning how to eat maybe maybe even crawl i was probably learning how to crawl when when this shots when this shot started um yeah that was my state of mind you know i, I popped out of my mother's vagina and uh i was probably looking around and thinking wow what is this place you know, wow, uh, the new world. 
you know i'm a baby i'm a, I'm a baby so wow what, a, what an amazing place um yeah so i'm gonna have to do i'm a i'm human so i'm gonna have to do like human stuff what do people do you know what i mean so yeah so i'm uh 45 now so 44 years later from nine i was born in 76 and uh yeah you know i can tell you about it but we might be here for a, a, a while you know but um what the band actually uh was thinking at that time you know um i don't know as i said i wasn't in the band then um but 1977 i'll speak for the band uh 1977 that was that was the time when the whole punk thing started and it, it was it was a new thing and uh you know the the other guys uh they were quite young and they were teenagers and they they were coming uh, you know stumbling upon this new sort of music and and they wanted to be part of it you know just uh and, and get involved and they did but they just did it their own way you know and for you personally how did you meet the guys the, the guys before joining the band um i, I played in other bands yeah. before i was in discharge um and we played with discharge you know they've they've watched me singing with other bands they watched me fronting other bands um you know and they asked me if i wanted to to join them basically yeah uh before i was in discharge i played in a band called broken bones which was also uh members of discharge so uh yeah it was kind of like a gradual step baby step you know um so i went from broken bones with you know bones and taz and then and then we went into discharge yeah was something natural yeah it was natural progression really okay. yeah So uh, the band, yeah, crossed five decades in the, punk, in the punk and metal industries. For you, uh, what is your view on uh, its, its evolution in musical term and uh, about the industry? Um, industry. I mean, I, I mean, I, I tend not to think of this as an industry. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, this this is something to, to me. It's art. You know, it's it's an art form. It's you know. It's, It's a, uh, it's a form of it, it. It's a lot of things to me. But it's it's probably everything to me, but a fucking industry. You know, it's not a business to me. You know, this this is my life. You know, this is this is everything that's made me up my entire life. You know, it's not industry. It's it's attitude. You know, it, it's it, it's it's loads of things. You know, to me when I was young, growing up when I was younger, this was. Um, You know, this this was rebellion. You know what I mean. This was angst. Yeah. This was anger. Yeah. This is what I was feeling. You know what I mean. Yeah. You know, I never felt I could fit in anywhere, and this is this is where I found my place. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. This was my home. Yeah. Um, so it's anything but industry to me. You know, as soon as you throw that word in there, it becomes something else. I understand. What you know. Right. So you were talking about your childhood. Um, looking back at your childhood, uh, in which musical environment did you grow up? Punk rock. Uh, yeah, I grew up in uh, New Jersey, back in, in America. Uh, so I grew up a lot around, you know, hardcore punk at the time. Um, you know, uh, first first bands I got into were like the Dead Kennedys. You know, Black Flag, and then being on the East Coast, I grew up a lot uh, around New York hardcore scene. You know, bands, Agnostic Front, Your Terror, uh, Tromax. Who? Tromax. Trauma X. The Tromax. No. Oh, the Chromax. No, sorry, sorry. 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 Yeah, of course, the Chromax. Yeah, that was a great album. Yeah. Um, yeah, New York hard. You know, that's that's part of the scene I come from, and uh, you know. As I, as I got more and more into it, I started discovering more British stuff, which I loved as well. Um, so, yeah, all, all forms, punk, hardcore, um, not really, you know, it don't matter where I come from. Okay. It's my thing. Yeah. Um, I, I did, you know, when I was younger, I did go through a lot of uh, 
you know, the British anarcho punk and, you know, like crass and stuff like that. Um, and then I ended up moving to England and, and joining Discharge. So, yeah. Okay. And do you remember the first, the very first piece of music that moved you? That catch you? That moved me was yeah. probably uh, The Doors. Yeah, The End. The song "The End" by The Doors, and uh, you know it was it was just dark sounding. You know it was just really dark. And to this day, I love you know I love The Doors. Jim Morrison, as far as a uh, actual vocalist singer, is probably one of my you know biggest uh, influences vocally. You know that kind of deep, passionate shout. Uh, you know it's kind of it's where I get my shouting from. Is is kind of like that Jim Morrison vibe um, and then obviously being exposed to New York hardcore was another but uh, yeah I, I've always liked dark music you know things dark and uh, you know the, the earliest stuff I can remember that that I loved like you said was was probably that you know in particular that song and then obviously like Black Sabbath and You know, this was listening to my parents, okay. my mom and dad's yeah. records, you know. And that without, you know, they come from the 60s. Yeah. And that was their generation, you know. I'm, I'm the next generation. I was Generation X, you know. It influenced you, of course, somewhere. Uh, what's currently in your uh, heavy punk, I don't know, musical rotation at that time? Right now. Yeah, right now. Right now. Um, To be honest, I'm not listening to a lot of punk right now. I'm listening just to a lot of dark vibes. Yeah. You know, I, I'll listen to like like horror film soundtracks, like John Carpenter and and, and just things that sound uh, foreboding and creepy and and you know shit that just sounds like fucking stay away. You know, yeah. that's my vibe. Okay. That that's what I'm really feeling at the moment. Um, you know, as far as punk and hardcore, you know, that's what I listen to my entire life. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and and there's not much you're gonna show me that I I, I don't know. I, you know, I'm at the point right now as far as punk and hardcore goes. I'm a I'm a bit of a standstill right now. You know, you're not gonna teach me nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's uh, that's where it at. I, I get the message. I get the vibe. At, at the moment, I'm exploring like more vibes. You know, I, I'm I'm exploring more sounds and music. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and vibrations rather than yeah, just the same constant thing. I, I, I you know I'm at I'm at the place right now where mentally I need uh, like refreshing. I need something different, you know what I mean? I've had this whole my whole life with punk and hardcore, that's all I was ever interested in. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm interested in, in, in sounds, you know, it's just, just sounds and, and strange stuff, yeah. So you are playing at the Hellfest, of course, you are here. Uh, what are your plans after this festival? Did you have other festivals, summer festival plan? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. we got loads. We got a few festivals. We're doing the Exit Festival in yeah. Serbia. Okay. Uh, we're doing uh, Rebellion Festival, Blackpool. Uh, well, there's quite a few festivals. I can't remember all the names. Um, you know, we're literally all over the place. Um, all over Europe, all over the UK, but yeah, we you know it's uh, we're doing as much as we could, and um, you know it's been it's been a couple of years. Obviously, every everybody here has been through the same exact thing. Yeah. I really don't need to say it. We've been locked down for two years. Everyone's been fucking getting depressed. You know, people have died. People are dying, and. You know, we we want to do as much as we could. It, it puts things into perspective. Yeah. How you know how short life is, yeah. and and it could go at any fucking minute. Yeah. 
you know, do it, do everything you could. Yeah. You know, That's grab for every fucking opportunity you got. Just yeah. go for it, man. You know, you, you get one, you get one life. That's it. Just do it. Just go for it. I'm not, you know, trying not not so corny or nothing, but it is true. You know what I mean? Make the most of it. You know, just make the most out of every situation. This is a good message. Very good message. So, okay, to conclude, thank you very much. Did you have something to add? Some words for your French fans? We're in France at the Hellfest in yeah. Clisson, Rock City. <laughs> yeah, um, as, as I said earlier, you know, we love Hellfest. Um, it's always the one to look forward to, Hellfest. So, we, you know, we're always looking forward to coming back. We love playing for you guys. So this is the place, you know, you, you guys got it. And, uh, you know, I've been to many festivals after being to Hellfest. And I, was, and I, I tend to compare everything now to Hellfest. Yeah. It's like, well, is this as good as Hellfest? So, yeah, yeah, France is setting the standards for festivals. You got it. Okay, thank you very fucking much. This was Discharge, what a member. So support the band, go to the social networks and message everyone, buy the albums, buy everything you want, merchandise, but support this fucking good band. This was Oxygen Radio Metal Zone with Discharge on the Hellfest. Thank you.